What's up, Sagittarius? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so let's jump right into this. Let's see what's going on in your week. Now, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius signs. And like I always say, guys, the energy here could be transferable. So it could be your energy I'm picking up on or a person or an environment around you, okay? So a few more shuffles and we'll get right into it. What is going on for the sign of Sagittarius? April 5th to the 12th. Okay, so we have the lover's card and the wheel of fortune. So this is going to be very positive just starting off because it shows that there's something that comes into your life where things move forward in a very positive way. And with the lover's card, it could be someone that you're intimate with. Or this could be someone that you're just very close to. This could be a best friend. This could be like a parent. But, you know, finding out some very good news. Now, for some of you, this could have to do with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini specifically. But there's something that I see you guys happy to manifest. And you're going in a direction where you're avoiding any sort of like issues or problems that you may have had in the past. Okay, and you have the death card. So you guys are definitely having a very positive change here. And it's because there's something that you were very strong when it came to not accepting it in your life anymore. So there is something that maybe you saw as long term or maybe something that had to do with finance career where you guys really just stood strongly against it. And you said, you know, I'm done with this. And this could have been something where there was arguments between you and another person. Maybe you were speaking harshly with someone or they were with you. But because you guys take this direction, you're about to take off with something. Okay, so why is this lover's card here? All right, ace of wands in the reverse. Why is this wheel of fortune here? All right, so a few cards fell. We have the ten of cups in the reverse, five of cups, ace of cups in the reverse, and the high priestess. So a lot of cards fell out, so let's talk about that in a second. Um, or talk about this death card, rather, in a second. So with the bottom of the deck being the judgment card upright, there was something where you guys were very unhappy to let something go or someone around you was very unhappy that you let something go. But deep down in your soul, you knew you had to. The high priestess, this is someone who makes a very wise decision. And there's a big change, but it's like, you know, overall, you had to do this. For a lot of you, um, that's what it could be. It could be that it was someone who you were very closely tied to. Or maybe you let go of something because of someone that you're very closely tied to. Okay. If there's any pain you guys are in right now, that's definitely something that subsides. But there is something that you guys are cutting off. So we're going to see why this death card is here now. And this deck, guys, is the Wild Unknown Tarot. We have the Magician. Let's pull one more. And the Ace of Swords. So, Ace of Swords, rather. So, there's definitely something that's being built here. But there was something very conflicting in your life that you guys had to cut out. And now that you did cut that out, that's what's allowing you to manifest this next chapter. But you just lost faith in someone or in something, or they lost faith in you. Um, and you heal by, again, just letting this thing go. Okay. So, let's pull three final cards. And then I'll do another spread for you guys. So we have the Nine of Swords, you have the Nine of Cups, and the Empress card. So there's going to be a lot of celebrating, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment with this new thing coming in. Um, again, for some of you, this could have to do with the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But if you're not dealing with someone of that energy, then this is just saying you need to focus. And this is going to be a time where... You know, it's not saying you can't love anyone or express love to anyone, but you have to have a very direct look at what it is that you're doing. So if it's a business you're trying to build, um, whatever it is you're trying to build, you can't get distracted. You have to think logically. You kind of have to set your emotions to the side when you're dealing with this. So if this is like a career or something, it's, you know, telling you to have that mentality of leaving your problems at the door, doing what you have to do, and then executing it. 
Okay. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like the problem is that you feel as though this is like an unstable transition that's happening for you. But just know with the temperance card here, your soul is very at ease. Okay. So this is a great thing for you. All right. So we're going to use another deck. So this is Graham Lux Tarot. We'll see what else comes out for you guys. All right, so this flew out. We have the Page of Swords, awesome. This is a card about just speaking very directly, being clear about what you want, not being afraid of what those around you are gonna think, just being very honest. You have the Three of Swords. Let's pull one more. Okay, a few came out, so we'll look at these. Now, your energy is beautiful. You guys have the Strength card, so we'll keep that in mind. But we have the Nine of Wands that came out, Ace of Wands in the reverse, Ace of Coins in the reverse, Knight of Wands, and you have the Death card. So whatever it is that you guys are moving away from, for some of you, it could be something that's very devastating, something that's heartbreaking, or it can cause someone else to feel that way. But there's a degree of honesty that needs to be had here. Now... Although something is ending, especially for those of you that kind of really wanted this to be long term, is just showing that you're very empowered by this change happening. So that you really just need to stand your ground and just endure what's happening right now. Now, the number of completion in tarot and numerology, it's going to be the number 10, guys. So the fact that you're at a nine, this is that point where someone's just so exhausted that they're about to give up, not realizing that they're about to get over whatever mountain this was. So this is kind of like the ending stages of what you were dealing with. And there is this relief. There is this sense of coming up for air that does come in. But you guys have to allow yourselves to get there. And, you know, with you being honest about the direction you want to take or someone else being honest, I feel like that's what brings in this disappointment. But there's still a need for that honesty to happen anyways. Okay. Because all in all... You remove yourself from anything that was toxic, and then you have the world card here. So you're really going into something solid. It's something that's very positive for you, and you're able to release a lot of burden that you were dealing with. All right, so I'll pull three more cards for you guys. Okay, so here we have the lover's card in the reverse. So a lot of cards talking about letting go of something that you were closely tied to, a person that you were closely tied to. Okay. Okay. So guys, with you letting this thing go, there is so much success that you come across. It shows wish fulfillment. It shows you celebrating something um, with others that are close to you. With the chariot, this is something that's either going to lead to travel or something that just takes off very quickly for you. But with the Knight of Wands in the reverse coming up here, I feel as though there's someone around you that feels cheated by what it is that you're doing because you're doing it by yourself. Or you're removing yourselves from just being around this person in order to do this. Some of you straight up are just leaving one love behind to go to another. Um, but I don't feel love too, too strongly with this reading. Although that definitely could resonate for a lot of you. But whatever this is, it brings you to a very strong success. It's just that maybe you had to manipulate the situation a little bit. Or maybe someone feels manipulated by you. Um... Maybe this is something you're doing and you might not be 100% ready to do it, but it shows it's going to take off quickly. So there's going to be something very exciting and you guys have everything that you need to get it done. But when the Knight of Wands in the, is in the reverse, this is you guys not being 100% focused or maybe, again, someone seeing you as manipulative or um, you jumping from like one person to another love-wise. But 
whatever this is, you guys are meant to excel in it. So if it's something that's happening fast, like maybe you got an acting gig and you went from, you know, being nobody to being on Netflix next week, that sort of thing. Just know that it's something you might not have been prepared for 100% because of how fast it's happening, but you're getting everything that you want. So this is a huge thing because I feel like a lot of you have been desiring something and you're actually not it's like you weren't mentally or emotionally prepared to have it so fast because it comes in so fast so this is actually a huge gift and really just be ready because i don't think you expected it to come in the way it does um for a lot of you it shows that there's things that you need to learn about whatever this is so it's kind of like learning as you go where you might not feel 100 percent prepared right now but you're in it and you have to learn as you go and you have to you know whatever it is that you lack in knowledge wise you have to get there you got to study and you got to learn it okay so yeah just be ready for whatever this is because it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you and not everyone can come with you for what this is okay so very interesting guys now if you guys need a personal reading you can check the description below it explains you know several ways to get that now when you guys do purchase a personal reading from my website you will get a confirmation email once you get that confirmation email just know everything is set i have it on my end i only reach out to you when i have the reading so i know a lot of people they want to email me you know twice a day or every day hey what's the status what's the status it really really slows me down guys so the quickest way to get a reading once you purchase it it's just to leave Lisette alone, and I'll get it out as fast as possible. Um, now, follow me on Twitter, guys. It's Bruja Shit, and you guys can follow me on Instagram as well, High Vibrations 44 Take care, Sage. Love you guys.